Greetings and salutations. This is Pandora the Eclectic, also known as Pandora the Eclectic One on SoundCloud. And today we're going to be looking at another Neo Sarkeesian video. And this one was uploaded on November 23rd, 2009. And basically it's going to be about the following description. Here is an easy guide to follow for guys on the right versus wrong reasons to hate Twilight. Enjoy. With the release of New Moon, there's been a lot of awful sexist, homophobic, patriarchal crap floating, floating around the internet, and I just wanted to set the record straight. Well, this is gonna be fun! Thank goodness it's only one minute long. I just want to clear up a little confusion with the guys about the right reasons and the wrong reasons to hate on Twilight. These are the wrong reasons. I thought it was going to be about a bunch of badass vampires who wanted to kill people and drink their blood. But no, it was some teenage p who didn't want to kill people. Instead, he just wanted to be sensitive and play piano. Well, like the werewolves. Because when the vampires start, like, saying, I can't be with you because I'm too sensitive and I'm risking our, our lives, oh. the werewolves come up and be like, the vampires. And then also the endless array of he's so gay comments on YouTube. So just to recap, the wrong reasons are that... I hate saying this, Anita. When you say they called him gay, are you... I think you kind of forget internet lingo doesn't necessarily mean what it means. Gay also now means lame, loser, her, you know, that sort of thing. Does that mean it's a word I one should use in that matter? I don't know. Take it up with if people of the LGBT. They probably tell you. And, well, apparently it's not that bad. Uh, like I said, it's okay to be gay. Alright? Now, I agree. Um, well, let's just put it this way. I have my personal reasons to not like Twilight as well. And I definitely have to say, being told what I can and cannot like about Twilight is ridiculous. So why the heck would I, a woman of any kind, does not matter, would want any of my male cohorts to be told how to think? You duh, you bigoted feminist. And Edward is too sensitive, that he's gay, and that he's not violent enough. The right reasons, however. I hate saying this. It's not that he's too sensitive. Yeah. It's the fact that he's pretty much kind of a jerk. I mean, really, if he's a sensitive guy, why leave her in the middle of the woods when she's going to get eaten alive? Hey, to test her spirit or his love? Because that's basically what it's all about. It's lame, but that's pretty much how most romances are. Okay. Is it sexist? No, it's called abusive. That's the word. And it should be used. But whatever. Are that Edward is a creepy, manipulative, controlling, overprotective stalker. Ultimately, we. Like I said, dude's abusive. Are saying is that in addition to being emotionally abusive, you want Edward to be violent, sadistic, and physically abusive. So next time you're with your buddies talking about how much you hate Twilight, you can just repeat after me. I hate Twilight because Edward is a creepy manipulator. Now everyone follow the bouncing ball. An <laughs> overprotective stalker. Okay, well, I said, thank God it was only a minute long. 
So I didn't have a lot of jokes for this one, but eh, there's not much jokes to be had yeah, with this. I think she says it pretty much all for her goddamn self. Anyways, again, this is Pandora the Eclectic. Hey, okay. check me out on Facebook, not Facebook, on my Tumblr, my Twitter, and my SoundCloud. It's getting kind of lonely there. So, yeah. And thank you for watching. Please subscribe and stay frosty.